it's your girl Kimmy Ann bringing you the Nerdy News Weekly in a new segment from Fangirl Nation. Each week I track down some of the hottest stories and trends to make sure you're in the nerdy know. Welcome to Trendy, Hot, and Nerdy. Let's get this ball started with some TV news. Is Peter Capaldi leaving Doctor Who? Right now it's only being hinted at and we got a long way to go you guys. With the changing of executive producers, we won't see Doctor Who until 2017. We don't even know when in 2017 we will see Dr. Hill. I'm not happy. But we do know that it will be airing its 10th season and the last time that Moffat will be leaving the ship. Chances are as we say goodbye to Moffat, we'll also be saying adios to Capaldi. Well, I love that mad Scotsman. It is time to shake up Doctor Who and get a fresh start. I mean, you guys, it sucks right now. It really, really sucks. We really need a change. Please, a change. Just, just a little. And we'll get it. In 2017. In other news, news you don't have to wait for 2017, the hysterical musical sensation that is Galifant has its season finale for season two. We do not know if it will be back. We pray to the musical TV comedy gods that it will be. Because season two blew season one out of the water. Which means season three will only be three times better than season one. Get the logic? I can do math. <laughs> Anyways, if you have not seen Galavan, the best way to describe it is if Monty Python and Disney were to have a baby. And for all the Disney fans out there, if you love the classics like Aladdin, and Little Mermaid, and Tangled. Is Tangled the classic? Who cares? It was a good movie. And then you would like Gallivant, because Alan Menken is a god, and he can do no wrong. Trust me on this. Just Google Gallivant songs and watch one. Whichever one it is, chances are you'll love it and end up watching the other two seasons in a day. But Gallivant isn't the only musical taking over this Sunday. On Fox at 7 Central, Stars Aaron Trevett, Jillian Hugh, and Vanessa Hudgens, and many other talented actors will be performing Grief Live. As a musical lover, I really have to say that I am loving this trend of musicals coming to TV. Even if some of them suck, like my crazy ex-girlfriend. Why did that get a second season? And in more musical news, you guys, I can't get enough of this. I am so happy that this is like Musical Week Central. But this one, I promise, you're going to love. Fox is getting ready for another musical to add to the TV world. And this one is a doozy. When the announcement broke last October that Orange is the New Black star, Laverne Cox, had been casted as the one and only Dr. Frank Berger, I couldn't help but shiver with Antissa. Patience, come on, you guys, you know I was going to do it. That's right. The beloved cult classic, Rocky Horror Picture Show, is in the works of, be of being casted. So far, I'm like, well, let's say I'm like 50% in love with the cast and 30% not in love with the cast, and then the other 20% hasn't been casted. I give a huge thumbs up to casting singer Adam Lambert as Eddie. Reeve Carney as Rifra, and of course, Laverne Cox as Frankfurter. I cringe at Victoria Justice as Janet Weiss. Why? Why would you do that? But, before you write this movie off, off as a horrible imitation, I mean, you guys, I'm so afraid it's so bad I can't even speak right now. Fox has guaranteed themselves a huge viewership by casting the latest addition, Tim Curry. That's right. The man who originated the role Frankfurter and stole all of our hearts is coming back to play the criminologist. Which, to be completely honest, I don't think there is a better role besides Frankfurter that Tim Curry could play. I am so over the moon with excitement for this. Okay, 
One more bit of musical news, and I swear I'm done. Hamilton, the hottest musical on Broadway, has announced a national tour. This musical has taken the world by storm by mashing up history and hip-hop together to recap the epic story of Alexander Hamilton. I mean, what's better than a rapping George Washington followed by other rapping founding fathers? It's like this generation schoolhouse rock. How can you say no? In gaming news, yes, we've moved on. <laughs> we have <laughs> Starbreeze Studio announced Project Stargate, a full-scale virtual reality arcade opening in Los Angeles sometime in the spring or summer. My little gamer heart is so overjoyed right now, you guys. Having only had a small encounters with the hugely awaited technology, I can honestly say this is what every gamer has waited for. I remember doing virtual reality when I went for something for like the movie The Walk. And you were supposed to like just walk forward. Like I knew I was on ground, but I couldn't get my mind to realize I was on ground because when I would look down, I was really, really high above New York State, and I basically, like, couldn't move. My body was frozen. Virtual reality is the most exciting thing to me since the creation of Kingdom Hearts. I'm serious right now. <laughs> and who can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> One last bit of news to finish up the week. Thursday, Mattel announced an army of new Barbies hitting the shelf, and people went crazy. With four body types, seven colors of skin, 22 eye colors, and 27 hairstyles. Dear God, this girl got a makeover. Barbie came out clean against the criticism she has faced for decades over her body. They even adjusted the feet. So they are more suitable to wear tennies, flip-flops, or take long strolls barefoot in the sand with her lover Ken or that Aussie guy that she was cheating on Ken with. Who knows? We can now see petite, tall, and curvy Barbies of any style. Well, I was over the moon with this. You guys, I just really love this subject. I love Barbie. While I was excited over this, I was amazed by how angry people were and took the social media to protest the new Barbie look stating that Mattel had given in to body shaming. Body shaming. People, please. Barbie <laughs> has inspired children and girls for the last, I don't know how many decades she's been around. She's, she's pretty old, you guys. <laughs> but she's inspired people letting them know that they can travel to the moon, the stars, be whoever they want to be, and hold any job that is basically imaginable. This new change only sharpens that message and allows others to feel even more connected to the lovable doll. I'm 28, and I can't wait to give me a curvy doll to mark this Barbie-rific occasion. That's right, I said Barbie-rific. Now that's all the time and news I have for today. I'd love to stay in chat, but Anime LA started, and I have a cosplay I gotta make for tomorrow, and in cosplay fashion, I haven't started. Oopsie. So get your nerdy on this weekend, and have fun. Check back Monday to see all the fun and craziness I had running around Anime LA with some of my best cosplaying buds. Until then, you guys, have fun.